Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you made the most of that, because that's probably the last five minutes you're going to be able to talk. I'm glad you got that out of the way, man. <laughs> um, firstly, I'd like to, on, on behalf of the Bridesmaids and me, I'd like to thank Ben for your kind words. And I think that we can all agree that the boys are looking absolutely gorgeous today. <laughs> Only being done by Nora, of course. It's <laughs> looking absolutely stunning. I don't know how you've done it then, but... I'd <laughs> 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 like to thank uh, Diana and Mike and Sue and Mike for helping Ben and Lauren out for this great day. It's been absolutely wonderful. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jamie I've known Ben for about 14 years now. Sit by that keyboard, like you said, and I have the privilege of being his best man. I hope you've all enjoyed the day so far. Everyone enjoyed it? Yes. yes. And uh, I know that a lot of people have travelled quite far, and uh, it's, been, it's been a beautiful ceremony. I've enjoyed meeting everybody. And despite what Ben has told me, you're actually all really nice people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what it was that drew me to Ben when I first met him. Probably that his surname was Bouvier. <laughs> <laughs> me being 11 years old, thinking Boo. <laughs> Ever since then, we've been best mates. So when he, when he did ask me to be his best man, I did, I did think, why me? Who's dropped out? <laughs> does, he, does he think I'm going to be kind to him? <laughs> but no, nah, it's because we are best mates and we have been since, since school. Ever since school, we've, we've never really taken anything that seriously. So uh, today he's quite a bit out of our league at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, yeah, it's quite difficult today. But he's, he's always had the knack of being a bad influence on me. <laughs> so, I'm not telling lies here either. When we're at school, it's always him that I'm sat next to. Always him that's telling me to say something to teachers. <laughs> telling me to heckle them. Being horrible to them. Leave our psychology class by saying we're going to the toilet, but actually end up in our common room playing pool and cards. <laughs> Probably why we didn't pass it, wasn't it? <laughs> There's also the point where I thought I was going to be a good athlete when I was younger, and I didn't like alcohol, so I went out with Ben on a Friday night match. <laughs> this was good, this was. So we were there, and I said, oh, I'll just have a Red Bull. Okay. Comes over with a big jug, says, Yeah, it's just Red Bull. And I'm there drinking it away. Gradually, I'm saying to Ben, I'm feeling a bit dizzy, mate. <laughs> it comes out, it was actually vodka red bull. That was my first experience of drinking. So thanks a lot. <laughs> There's one thing that stands out to Ben and our lads. He's like, because he's quite tall, he thinks he's invincible. <laughs> but we all know that he's actually scared of Laura. <laughs> Not we all. <laughs> but I remember a point. When we were younger, after a couple of drinks, Ben remembered seeing a guy run into a bus stop and smash the window. So on, a, on a, one of our nights out, thinking he's invincible, he decides to run at the bus stop, full pelt, and smash into the window. However, the window didn't actually break. He just laid in a heap on the floor, and finally, it comes out that he's actually broken his collarbone. So he's not actually invincible. We've also seen him when he's broken his leg, I'm sure a lot of you heard when he was playing football. He got a bit moody with another player, so decided he was going to go and snap him in a tackle. However, he ended up snapped himself. So make sure you look after him, Lauren, because he's, he's not invincible. <laughs> and I'm sure that a lot of you, I don't know if a lot of you know, but Ben's got a nice bit of artwork on his, on his arm now. And it's, really, it's really nice to see. Because uh, I know he's, no, I've known he's wanted a decent tattoo for a long time now, but there's something that you should probably know about Ben, and I think you should ask him throughout the night. <laughs> so I don't want to reveal it, but I think you should ask him, because it's actually a really good tattoo that he's got, other than this one on his arm. So I think you should ask him about his tattoo for the night. I think he was. I think he was about to show you. <laughs>
He's got a willy on his bum. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, you are never allowed to tackle from behind. Playing oh. <laughs> oh. away games, especially on a rough pitch, may result in a serious injury. <laughs> the quickest way to get you on the transfer list. <laughs> and if you are coming to the end of the game, and you don't think you're going to get the right result, you can always try going down in the box. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 